So today I'm super excited to do an unboxing video for my battle systems scenery sets. After I started playing Kill Team, I knew that I wanted more sci-fi terrain and I also knew that I didn't want to paint a bunch of terrain. I would much rather paint miniatures. And so I started looking online for options for um, terrain that I would not have to paint. And so the first option that I went with was these Infinity Scenery Packs. And they're really cheap, only 850 for something like this. And you get basically a couple of buildings, a battle mat that's about the size that you need for Kill Team. And it was very simple to put together, just it's cards, not even thick cardstock, but it enables you to have an instant battlefield for, for very, very low price. One of the things I didn't like about this though was because it was paper, they were very light and easy to bump and move around. If I were to use this option, I would probably just put bags of sand inside the buildings to give them some heft and some weight. That was my first option. The second thing I looked into was Plastcraft Colored. And so they come out with these kits of various pre-colored plastic uh, buildings and scenery sets that you can make. And uh, the thing that kept me from going in this route was basically the cost. And so just one of these buildings, $30, the smaller ones um, are more affordable. But in order to fill a whole battlefield, uh, I would need to spend a couple, um, probably a couple hundred dollars and um, a lot of the ones I wanted were not in stock, like this building. Uh, there are other options here, like this desert kind of scenery. Uh, but again, you know, look at this one, $43, not even in stock. And so as much as I wanted to look into these options, um, I ended up not pulling the trigger. And they do have sort of unpainted options, uh, but I didn't want uh, to do that. So this is a path that I might have gone down if they actually had uh, things in stock and for me to be able to buy. And so uh, this is something to consider. I did look into MDF, pre-painted MDF. There's a lot of MDF scenery out there, but uh, the pre-painted options, again, I ran into a little bit the price. And so take a look at this table bundle, which is probably the one that I would wanna get uh, enough to fill up a table and it does look really good. Not as happy about pricing. Um, and I wanted to sort of to be able to see what this looked like uh, before pulling the trigger. So I did not end up doing that. The other option that I saw, and this was uh, being able to find shipping here in the United States is Prometheum Forge. I am really impressed with the uh, type of terrain that they have. And, and this version here is actually magnetized. Each one of these pieces is magnetized so that they easily clip together and you can put together uh, scenery very, very quickly and then put it away for storage. I love uh, this series of cans. You just use soda cans and paint them. Um, and I think it looks awesome. The one downside with this set is that you have to paint it yourself. You could leave it, you know, just this plain wood color. Uh, I think that would be fine, but the fact that I would have to paint it uh, stopped me from actually uh, going this route. Then I remembered that I um, helped kickstart a game called Core Space. And Core Space is produced by Battle Systems, which has done a number of successful Kickstarters for their scenery. And all of their scenery is actually cardboard. So it's printed onto cardboard. And this skirmish, which is supposed to ship, I think, next month in March of 2019, um, I was just really impressed with the scenery that was involved and thought that this could apply to a lot of the different games that I have. Because not only do they have scenery for sort of the indoor, um, either spaceship or uh, futuristic building, sci-fi building or something like that, they also have outdoor scenery. And so this past year in January, they had a sale where they put together bundled sets for uh, their core set. So each one of these core sets is $80, or I'm sorry, 80 pounds, which translates to about 
a hundred U.S. dollars. But they had a sale this past January, the f- first sale they've ever had. I don't know if they're going to have future sales, but they created these awesome sets where you they bundled in about 30% more terrain added to each one of these core sets. And they were bundled sets and they were sen- selling them for 90 pounds or about 114 US dollars. So I went in and I snatched up the Shantytown core set or the bundled set. And as you can see right now, it's out of stock. It's always out of stock. So when this comes in stock, make sure if you really want it to grab it right away because uh, I've never really seen it in stock except for that one month. Um, I also grabbed the Outlands core set, which again, these two are sort of outdoors. And then I also grabbed the Frontier core set with the thought of being able to expand my core space game once it comes because the core space game is in a, a set that's more like this, indoors, and I wanted the versatility of being able to expand if I wanted to. So I bought those three core sets. I did drop quite a bit of money, over $300 for that. I did add also the medical bay uh, as an add-on, but these sets were really good deals because they came with uh, a lot of add-ons, as you're going to see. And so even clicking on this can show you um, all the different pieces that you get, and I thought that this was going to be the best deal for me. And it took a month for all of this to ship. And so it does take a while to, for because they're in the UK, I think. And so it took a long time for it to ship over to me, but um, I finally did receive it. And so next I'll show you the unboxing of the sets that I got. But uh, it is packaged really well, which I'm thankful for. This is the Frontier set. This is the Outlands set. And here are the various mats. So let me go ahead and lay all of these out so that you can see what they look like. So I got three of these two by two desert mats, the bundle set where I got extra mats and that this is most likely shantytown set since uh, I don't see a box for that. So I'm glad that it's really protected in bubble wrap and it actually is uh, has shrink wrap in it. These are plastic clips that puts it together and these are the shantytown floors and roofs. These are Outland tiles, number of sets of those, uh, more clips, and then this is the arrival bay, and it looks like uh, scatter items, street items, a turbine. Oh, and I did order this separately, uh, Medical Research Lab. Some furniture. This says really useful items. I got a couple sci-fi dimension gates. An explorer pack. This is all an infestation. I'm guessing that this is with the Frontier set. Shantytown accessories. And these are three packs of Shantytown walls. With the Frontier set, here we have another battle mat, two by two. 
And here's the back of the box showing you a picture of it. And here you have Frontier consoles, equipment, a grav lift elevator, uh, doorways and airlocks. I mean, look at the detail found in there. I think that's awesome. Gantries and railings. Uh, these are floor tiles. I got a couple of these. More floor tiles. Walkways. So a number of, of the same sheet providing uh, a lot of walls. Okay, so I got another one of these desert maps, which is great because now I have four of these, which gives me a four by four play area. It'll completely cover my table, which is awesome. Again, the clips. And here's the back of the box. So the same, it looks like same equipment pack and have a couple of sheets of those. And then outland walls. And then these are floor tiles. And then explorer packs. So I'll go ahead and build some of these to show you what they look like. Check out this table full of terrain. I think this is amazing. So here are the base three sets. The Outland set, which is right here in this quadrant. The Frontier set, which is here with the um, indoor mat. And then finally the Shantytown over here. And this is reserved for some extras that I got that was part of the special bundle with the sale that they had uh, this past January. Uh, and those are extra, so you're not going to find those in the base sets. So I only punched out and created uh, the buildings that you'll find in each of the core sets. So let's first start over here with the Outlands. And I really do like uh, this section of the board. It does come with this desert um, mat, one of them. And as you can see, there is more terrain than can fit on a single 2x2. Two two. So even you see here it's spilling over uh, slightly. And these buildings are way too close together. Um, so you have a lot of building uh, for each set. And so um, Having these uh, multi-tier buildings, uh, I think it makes it look super good. And you can totally lift these off to get to what's underneath there, as well as the floor level as well. And so these are really versatile. And that's the thing that I really like about these. And totally... Uh, customizable because of the clips you can make these buildings any way that you want and so I am super impressed so that's what you're going to get with the Outland set let's go ahead and move over here to the Frontier set I did buy this set primarily because um, the core space game does primarily take place uh, inside it's either a space station or something like that I'm not quite sure what the setting is 
And so I did want to have an expansion to be able to play with that game. But this set actually looks awesome. Um, I put the Gene Stealers in here because I imagine them uh, infesting this world, this home planet, or it might be the interior of a building. Uh, and so I think they look awesome in this set. And same thing, a really customizable. Um, all of these lift off. And I think it looks awesome. Uh, this is an add-on, the medical station here. And I will show you later on in the video, I inserted these um, plastic um, orange inserts here. And I'll, I'll show you how... Uh, you can do that if you want. But that's an add-on that doesn't come with the base Frontier set. But everything else here does. And you can imagine, if you made this just one tier, one level, not multi-level here, this will cover a lot of space and terrain. Um, and so there's plenty in each set, I think, to cover uh, um, at least a, a two mats. So each one of these mats is two by two. And so if you buy an extra mat, I think one set actually will cover a two by four space. Um, but even here, if you do just go one level and don't go up like I did, there's plenty to fill up a, a two by four uh, space. Uh, might even be more than that. And then let's go over here to the shanty town and this was sold out for a super long time when I first looked into um, Battle Systems. Uh, this was a set that I really wanted, but it was sold out. And unfortunately, right now, it's sold out again. And so you actually can't get this set. Uh, so when they come back in stock, make sure to grab this because I really, really like this set. Even though the Shantytown set is um, not necessarily uh, futuristic, it is, uh, I think it does work. It can work for sci-fi uh, miniature games. And so here I have, I want to say, our Death Guard uh, along with the Orcs. And so again, you can lift off um, these roofs to go down to each level. Uh, and you can go in here. Uh, the furniture comes with the set, the core set. And this would really work well with any post-apocalyptic scene or a zombie game. And I really like that a lot. And then finally over here, uh, these are add-ons that they threw in with the bundled sets. This is the bay, um, arrival bay. Uh, and right now I have some AT-43 pre-painted minis. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember what these gorilla guys are called officially, but... The arrival bay looks really cool and awesome. Um, and then these were thrown in as well, this turbine, uh, as well as this dimensional gate. Uh, and I got another one of these. Um, you have the option of punching out all of the uh, inserts or keeping them intact like this. And I got another tower in addition to the one that came with the outpost. I actually have a ton more um, buildings uh, about a third more buildings uh, available that I didn't even punch out or build because as you can see it's just absolutely covering this table and it's the right scale and I really do think that it is high quality and the fact that it is totally customizable you can build it the way that you want and the way that you need it makes it an excellent deal so if you like these sets make sure you go over to battle systems and order your own set. I definitely think it's worth it. It's a lot of terrain. Uh, and the fact that you do not have to paint it, that it becomes, uh, that it comes like this, um, is totally worth it. And so it's a lot. I think uh, you can pick uh, any of the sets that you want um, and you'll be pretty happy. And so you're gonna see uh, some of these sets in the future as I do some battle reports for a kill team and some other skirmish miniature games. But uh, as always, subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.